hi guys you are welcome to my channel today we'll quickly look at how we can scalp uh gold gbp usd euro usd and usd jpy on the smaller time frames but before we go to the top smaller time frames uh, we'll take a look at what has happened on the higher time frame on the higher time frame or i'm talking about the daily time frame for gold we can see that gold has formed these two top uh uh two top on the tops on the daily time frame and the price has already um passed the neckline of the double top and we have a retest of that neckline and the price of uh gold is currently uh, sliding you can see what's happening so we expect the price of gold uh to get to uh this level and then retrace and drop down to uh the 1928 level okay in the next few days or weeks okay so um the next target as it slides is uh at the low this previous low around here which is 1948 okay but before 1948 the price of gold is expected to uh to clear uh 1953 area first before dropping to uh 1948 so that's that for the daily time frame on the four hour time frame we can see that the price of gold continues to register um lower lows lower high lower low lower high so we can see in the last um uh one two three four five six in the last six four hours four hour candles you can see that the price of gold continues to drop and we expect it to get to the one nine five three area okay that's that four four hour time frame on the one hour time frame is bearish as price has just broken this particular structure this particular structure here has just been broken and we expect price of gold to continue to slide uh, on the 30 minutes time frame you can see that the price of gold is dropping so you might consider selling gold for now you might consider selling uh, gold for now look at it uh, dropping and breaking structures price continue to register lower lows uh, same on the five minutes five minutes is telling us to uh, jump in on a sell uh, in as much as this particular structure here has been broken i'm talking about 1960 has been broken we may possibly jump on a sell except we have price uh breaking above uh the resistance at the top I'm talking about the resistance at this particular area uh if price breaks this resistance 1964 uh, area if it breaks it we might see uh, a retracement but the overall direction for now is bearish looking at the one minute time frame you can see that the bull the bears are constantly stepping in now bears are stepping in and pushing price downwards so that's that for gold you might consider selling gold for now as the london market is about to open okay let's look at gbp usd for gbp usd we can see that the uh, price of gbp usd on the daily time frame is forming a top okay and price is about to slide alongside with gold okay as the price formed this trees are top at this on the four hour time frame at this particular part of the screen and then we start to see lower lows lower high lower lows lower high bearish structure just like that of gold uh, we expect the price of GBP USD to drop to 1.2400 area. Okay, and a break of that structure, a break of this particular structure, uh, I'm talking about the 1.23915, should send the price of GBP USD further down uh, the chart. Okay, so on the one hour time frame, we can see that the bears continue to sell every rise by the bulls and the uh, descending trend line is currently being respected so you might consider going short on cable 
fifty USD. On the thirty minutes time frame, we can see that uh, uh, the price action where you continue to have tops. Okay, price forming lower, lower high, lower low, and then we continue to see rejection by the sellers by the peers. And as I speak, you can see that the peers are currently pushing price down. So you might possibly look for uh, selling opportunities, sell the, the every rise, sell it uh, in line with this trend line on the 30 minutes time frame. Okay. Um, look at this price is dropping on 15 minutes time frame. And the, the price action shows that uh, the sellers or the BS they continue to push price down. So a break of the structure of the 1.23915 level, a break of that level send price further down. Okay, on the five minutes time, uh, five minutes time frame, uh, a proper look at what is happening on the chart shows that price is currently selling, uh, and we are going to have some news relating to uh, GPUSD today. So you, I expect us to sell, look for selling opportunities. Okay, that's that for GBP USD for Euro USD on the daily time frame. We can see the descending trend line and uh, the the likely uh, 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 the likely target for Euro USD is one point zero seven one seven one. We expect uh, Euro USD to drop, but before getting to one point zero seven uh, one seven one, we expect it to drop first to this. Uh, TP 1.07597. First, a break of that level would take it to 1.07171 level. Okay, before we might see some level of retracement. But for now, on the daily time frame, you can see that the, the current candle, candlestick is already uh, sliding and it's about to break yesterday's low. Yesterday's low uh, is at... Uh, uh, yesterday's low is at 1.0758, uh, and that is about to be broken. So, you might consider selling uh, Euro USD. Look at it on the four hour time frame, it's about to slide, it's about to slide, uh, just like GBP USD is about to slide, and uh, gold is about to slide. So, Euro USD is following uh, such currencies. Okay, so you might consider selling Euro USD. Okay, on the one hour time frame, you can see the price about to bring break this range. Uh, price about to break the range, a break of uh, the uh, bottom of the range that is 1.07944. Should see price dropping to uh, first dropping to 1.07821 first before uh 1.07704 then we finally we now have 1.07597 so but for now look for selling opportunities on euro usd look at the shadows at the top as it continues to form uh the shadows continues to give us lower eyes uh, meaning the 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 BS are active and they are in charge. On the 30 minutes time frame, we can see that uh, Euro US is also preparing to drop. It's preparing to drop. You can see at uh, the formation, the pattern. Okay, it's forming a top and a break of the neckline should send a uh, price downward. On the 15 minutes time frame as well, you can see that Euro US is also trying to drop as we continue to see low, this high, this low lower high is another lower high is another lower high and then this a low lower low lower low so that's a bearish structure on the 15 minutes time frame and i consider selling euro usd okay so on the five minutes time frame the structure around here has just been broken it's just been broken i'm talking about the 1.08019 has just been broken and if the buyers might want to push price up, we have a uh, resistance lined up at this particular order block 
eight zero. Okay, if that gets broken to the top, we have another other block at uh, one point zero eight one five nine which we might serve as resistance to price. So you might consider selling Euro USD on uh, the lower time frames. Also on the one minute time frame, what do we have? We can see that uh, on the one minute time frame, Euro USD price is also uh, bearish. Look at, look at this candlestick and look at the break of the structure. Look at the retest and price also sliding. So we have Euro USD sliding, we have GBP USD sliding, so we have to slide so we consider selling at these three pairs. Now let's take a look at um, USD JPY on the daily time frame. Uh, the target, uh, possible target for the buyers is one four one one two six area. Buyers might consider buying up to that point for USD JPY. Uh, this this. Um, negative correlation between USD JPY and gold. If gold is going down, USD JPY is expected to continue to go up. And look at, we have this rise, this drop, then this rise, then they break above the range. Okay, so that's an indication that price may likely continue up. And if it's going to continue up, possible targets in the next few weeks, uh, is 141.126 it could take days it could take weeks okay and the four hour time frame uh if on the four hour time frame if the price of usdj price is going to drop we see this other block on the four hour time frame the 137.822 uh, level might serve as support to price if price is going to drop on the four hour time frame, we have that other block there. But this other block on the daily time frame, looking at the daily time frame, we have this other block as well that could also serve. I'm talking about the 134.631 support level. It could also serve as support surprise. Going to the one hour time frame for USD JPY, we can see that price is going up and price might target. Um, uh, the top, I'm talking about um, uh, the one, just a minute, price might target the 138.853 top, okay, as it continues the upward uh, direction, which is the bullish trend. You can see drawing an ascending trend line, you can see that price is expecting uh, the trend line. Look at the touch here. And it has not dropped to this point, and we can already see a reversal of this candle, uh, candle stick on the one hour time frame. You can see that price is trying to push up, okay. But if it's going to drop, we have this support here at the 137.7 area. On the 30 minutes time frame, what do we have? Uh, we have price ranging, okay. We have price ranging, so price in the range. Uh, we might um, expect the range breakout to occur before we take the decision on the 30 minutes time frame. Okay, these are range bottom. Okay, and these are range top. These are range top on the 30 minutes time frame. So we might expect a bre range breakout before we take a trade decision. But range traders will normally sell at top and buy at the bottom but the overall direction of price is a bullish the overall direction of price is a bullish uh, uh direction on the 15 minutes time frame uh the price of usd jpy is seen to have retraced up to this support area and is trying to go up so you might consider buying usd jpy on the five minutes time frame what do we have on the five minutes time frame we can also see that uh, the price of usd jpy has dropped but it's currently recovering we can see the price recovering gradually and it's already at this other block okay a break of this particular other block i'm talking about um, uh, this uh 138.6 other block resistant area a break of this resistant area will take price to 138.761 level before 
price finally gets to 138.833 level so that's that for usdg pro and five minutes time frame on the one minute time frame what do we have let's see what do we have what do we have on the one minute time frame we can see that uh, price is gradually going up the buyers are stepping in we have the sellers pushing price down on the left side of the chart but on this particular side you can see the buyers are gradually stepping in as the london market is about to open so you may possibly look for uh, buying opportunities so that's that for today's analysis uh if you are yet to subscribe to the channel click the subscribe button if you are yet to like the video go ahead and click the like button click the bell button below the video for notification when we release another video tomorrow so that you get to see it uh, you can drop comments ask questions to we'll try as much as possible to respond to your question you might you can visit our website www.pnfxtrader.com to learn more on how to uh, trade forex and gold you can also visit another website of us fxfables.com to learn more on how to trade till i come your way tomorrow it's bye for now